You guys, I have terrible news. I lost a subscriber. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you have a whiskey that you love, and I mean love, stockpile it. I mean, don't put your house on a second or anything. Yes, stockpile it, because American whiskey producers have a nasty habit of making products vanish from the market without warning or explanation. Case in point, this guy. This is the best deal on earth when it comes to bourbon, or at least it was until Heaven Hill decided to discontinue it. Six years old, 100 proof, and 15 bucks. There's a liquor store in the Lexington airport where I tried to buy six, but other bartenders beat me to their stock. I was lucky to barter with someone for this one. Mmm. Medium alcohol burn, big vanilla nose. This is not incredible bourbon for the price. It's incredible bourbon, period. Big wood notes, vanilla, touch of leather. This is what bourbon is supposed to taste like. Super long finish, too. This is a sipping whiskey, if ever there was one, and I'm genuinely sad that it's gone. Now, when it comes to cocktails, this would shine in anything you put it in, but I'm going to make an old-fashioned, and instead of using Angostura, I'm going to revisit an old favorite, Dead Rabbit Orinoco Bitters. Orinoco is the house bitters at Dead Rabbit in Manhattan. If you haven't been or haven't heard of it, it's one of the best cocktail bars in the world, hands down. The drinks, the service, the presentation, everything screams polish. Long story short, these bitters rock. Be right back. Thing of beauty. Cheers. As old fashions go, this is pretty standard. However, I did not use a sugar cube. I used a scant quarter ounce of two to one demerara syrup. And obviously I used different bitters too. These bitters compared to Angostura are a little bit more herbal and floral. Angostura and other aromatic bitters are heavy on roots and barks. With this one, I'm getting a little chamomile, some cardamom. And between the whiskey, the bitters and the demerara syrup, I'm getting the slightest hint of chocolate. Pair that with the orange and that makes this one hell of a drink. If you see a bottle of this stuff at your local liquor store, be a pal, pick it up and ship it to me. I'll get you back, I promise. Yep, this is one of the best old fashions I've ever had. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow.